Today's gonna be the first of a two-part video showing how to make a person-safe set of bow and arrows that you can use to play tag with your friends. For this project, we're using some 3 quarter inch Schedule 40 conduit PVC. It's almost exactly the same as the white PVC, but since this is not designed to be buried, it's more sunlight resistant. These fiberglass driveway markers are designed to stab into the ground to give yourself a little additional visibility for the edge of a driveway, usually. Here's the basic idea. Some fiberglass rods will be cut to length, secured together, and fit inside a length of PVC tube. A paracord bowstring will then be fit into some notches carved into the ends of the PVC. Let's start by taking our PVC pipe and cutting it to 5 feet in length. Overall, we're going to want four fiberglass rods in our bow. One will be just under 60 inches, one will be 48 inches, and two of them will be 24 inches. Our whole PVC pipe is about 5 feet long, and our longest fiberglass rod we want to be about 1 inch short of either end. So let's take 2 inches off and make it 58 inches long. When cutting fiberglass, you want to make sure you're cutting slowly and carefully so you don't get a lot of splintering. To help reduce splintering even further, I'm going to wrap our fiberglass in a piece of duct tape before I cut it. We've got two driveway markers that are 48 inches long. That's just the right size for one of them, the other one we need to cut nicely in half. After cutting that in half, we now have our five foot length, our four foot length, and two two foot lengths. Make sure we've got the centers of these all lined up. And we now want to use a little bit of duct tape to tape around the very center and hold all of these rods together. These four fiberglass rods bound together are what's going to give our bow its spring power. Now when we pull against our PVC, instead of just bending in half, it should arc nicely and give our string some spring. The four rods should fit fairly snugly down inside the tube, and right where they're taped together, there should be enough friction that it doesn't slide unless you push it. We've got a nice flexible rod with a lot of spring to it, and what we need to do now is add a string. Our PVC isn't gonna do a very good job of holding onto any bowstring right now. I'm going to try to file a shape about like this. So let's take a round file and carve some angled notches into the top and bottom that our string can grip onto. With this shape, when our bow is curved, that should be pretty much in line with the direction of the string. We need to tie two knots in our string so that the loops on both ends will hold securely but not have so much slack that the bow straightens out when we're not using it. Let's fold our paracord over and use a figure eight knot to make a loop that will be strong and large enough to fit over the top of our PVC. By attaching the string onto one side of the bow and bending it, we're able to mark approximately where on the paracord we want the other loop to go. This is not necessarily going to be exactly the right spot because after attaching our string to our bow, the stretching action may make it a little bit too loose and it may tighten up the knots more, giving a little bit more slack into our string. But we'll start with this and adjust from there. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's just trim up the extra paracord and we should be able to give our bow a test fire. We have approximately 57 inches between one end of our bow and the other. Let's just mark right in the center on the string. That'll let us know where to be putting the knock of our arrows. We're gonna be going over how to make these person safe arrows in our next video. But for now, I'm just gonna take one and see how it fires. Beautiful. Great hang time. Our bow and arrow is working great. I do just wanna add a little bit of decoration onto this because you know we like adding decoration to stuff. I'm not gonna put anything right where I'm gripping because I feel like that would just get worn off over time, but I think the rest of the bow, I'll try and add a little bit of color to it.
pop. Our bow is built and it is working great. We've got incredible range. I think I can shoot these arrows like 100 feet. A quick note about the bow, if you leave it strung all the time, the PVC and the fiberglass rods inside will start to bend and you'll lose a lot of power. So anytime you're not actively using it, you should take the bow string off. In our next video, we're gonna be showing you how to make these arrows so that they are safe and they can't hit you, even if they hit you in the face. The goal is so that no matter how you shoot someone with these arrows, they're gonna be fine. Guys, we've got more for you to see. That little box at the top will transport you directly to our last video and you should go check that out. The box at the bottom will show you what YouTube thinks you should be watching now. This bomb in the middle will subscribe you to the channel so you never miss a video. Don't forget to ring that bell and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.